Hi everyone, this is Ken over at Markham Technologies. Today we're going to be covering the system menu found on the MX-7. Pressing the menu button, we're going to be opening up to the last menu we were in, which is the display menu. Pressing it a second time, it's going to bring us to the system menu. Starting in the left hand corner, you're going to find that you can adjust your depth units to be in feet or meters. The next option down is going to be for the open water reducer where you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius for your temperature reading. Below that is your speed units that you can change between knots, miles per hour, and kilometers. The coordinate format is where you can change between your coordinates for it to read out in degrees, degree seconds, or degree minute seconds. The last option on the left side is going to be your language option, where you can switch between English and French. Going over to the bottom right is your power down. You can adjust your power down so that it is between 11.5 volts and 9 volts to protect your batteries as a second precautionary measure. Setting it to 9 volts will give you the longest possible runtime out of your battery. Next is your transducer offset. This is for the open water transducer to have a preset offset for your transducer when it's mounted to your boat. You can adjust your hours for your time zone right here. Next is your menu colors where you can switch between dark mode and light mode. At the very top is your sonar simulator. Here you can turn, keep it off or switch it to ice fishing or open water simulator. In the top right you can save your settings, restore your settings, or go back to the manufacturing default settings. Here's a shortcut to activate a night mode which dims the light and changes the background. Next you can turn on and off your keypad sound and below at the last option is your map cartridge notifications. You can turn this off or keep it on. The function of this is when you have your Navionics card inserted, it will populate a notification for when your Navionics card expires. If you have any questions, you can visit MarkhamTech.com. Have a safe ice season.